This is part three in our series of lectures from section 5.1 dealing with equivalent sets. In this lecture we'll give another example involving cardinality of sets. So in this example we ask the question that do the sets 0, 1, in other words the set of real numbers between 0 and 1, and the set of real numbers from 1 to 101 have the same cardinality? Cardinality is one way to compare the size of two sets. It compares them by trying to establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of the sets. Um, but we could also measure the size of these sets by their length. The length of this set is 1, and the length of this set is 100. So in some sense, um, this set is 100 times the size of this set. Sorry, this is a typo. It should be 100. But cardinality doesn't measure size of, of a set by looking at its length. It measures the size of a, a set in a different way. So it turns out that uh, these sets do have exactly the same cardinality, even though in some sense it looks like one of them is a hundred times the size of the other one. And the reason this is the case is that there really is an explicit bijection from the set 0, 1 to the set 1, 101. So let's see if we can write a formal proof that these two sets have the same cardinality. We have to begin by coming up with a conjecture as to what is a bijection from 0, 1 to 1, 101. So we're looking to see if we can find a bijection f from the set uh, 0, 1 into the set 1, 101. Um, can we come up with such a thing? So let's draw a graph. If we look on the, along the x-axis, the interval from 0 to 1, and we look along the y-axis, the interval from 1 to 101, um, then I think it's pretty clear that there's a straight line function that we can use to bijectively map 0, 1 to 1 to 101. It's pretty clear from the picture that that's 1 to 1 and on to, and so it's just a matter of writing down um, which function will do that. So let's see, we uh, know that uh, this function should be of the form y equals mx plus b. The b is equal to the y-intercept, which is uh, 1. Right, it's this height here. When x is 0, y is equal to 1. And the slope is m. The slope is what? It's the ratio of the rise. It rises from 1 to 101 when x goes from 1 to 0. So that uh, is equal to 100. So that tells us that we should take y equal to 100x plus 1, and the picture indicates that that will be a bijection from one set to the other. So put your video on pause and uh, go back and see if you can prove, using this particular function, that the intervals 0, 1 and 1, 101 um, are equivalent to each other in the sense of cardinality. When you come back, I'll show you my proof. Okay, here's my proof that 0, 1 and the interval from 1 to 101 have the same cardinality. We define f from 0, 1 to 1, 101 by f of x equals 100x plus 1. So you've got to do three things. You have to show that it really does map into this interval. Then you have to show that it's injective and that it's surjective. So to show that it maps into the interval, you give yourself an element of 0, 1. That means x is bigger than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. So multiplying that by 100 gives you this. And then adding 1 gives you that 100 at x plus 1 lies between 1 and 101. Uh, looks like a little typo here. And so that proves that it really maps into this interval. To see that it's injective, you give yourself two elements of your domain. You assume that the f values are the same, which means this. 
and then it's easy to deduce that x1 equals x2 by subtracting 1s and then dividing by 100. So that proves that f is injective. Surjectivity is a little bit more involved. You have to give yourself something in the target, um, in the codomain, so you let y be in this interval. Then you have to explain how to choose an x in your domain which maps to that y. And so you choose your x by this, because that just says that y is equal to 100x plus 1. And now you've got to do two things. You have to show, first of all, that this number lies between 0 and 1, and that f of it gives you back y. So what you're given is, from this fact, you know that y lies between 1 and 101. So if you subtract off a 1 and then divide by 100, first you subtract off a 1 uh, from here, you get 0 and 100 on either side. Then dividing by 100 here gives you this fact here, and that is exactly what it means to say that x is between 0 and 1. And finally, you just have to show that f of x gives you back y. So this is what f of x is, and substituting x for y minus 1 over 100, you'll see that this really does come out to be y, and that proves that f is surjective. So we've got our bijection, and therefore this set has the same cardinality as this set.